notion of Mauritius at the moment. I mean, I've never been to Mauritius personally before myself, and it's on my bucket list to come back again. I cannot wait to be here again just to enjoy everything, you know, all of its culture. We're here basically for promotion, but it's amazing to experience things that you never would usually do. For example, walking with the lions. We went to Casella yeah. a couple of days ago. It's Chris has always wanted to hold the baby white lions and we got a chance to do that. Everything to do with Mauritius, we just can't wait to experience it all and we're not even done yet. Yeah, the Miss England competition itself, um, it has quite a few rounds and it's more about your personality, how you can be an ambassador's role for England and that is the same for yeah. Mr England as well. Um, we do have a few certain rounds. We have the sports round itself, which is quite extreme, so it gets to push yourself to your abilities. We also have the beach beauty round, and it's not like it was in the 60s, for example, you used to parade up and down in a bikini anymore. It's more about your figure and how proud you can be, and we also do the picture in a setting which is appropriate. So we're not on the catwalk anymore, we will be towards a beach, which is where you won, didn't you? Yeah in Southport, which is amazing. We also do an eco round, so it shows how we can upcycle certain different outfits to um, incorporate a theme. And our theme was walking through the decades. That was, shows your creative side, you know, to be an ambassador's role for England and for yourself as well. You need to not just be aesthetically pleasing, you know, you can't just be beautiful on the outside, you need to be beautiful on the inside and that takes a lot of rounds to kind of establish that, you know, you need to be able to see how you can actually present yourself well in all different aspects of life and that's hard to do in just one day, hence why the competition's a few days. Yeah. So you have a different type of competition? No, it is exa it's exactly the same, similar, so obviously we have exact the same rounds, but obviously all the misters are separate to the missus, so... It's a com completely how Elizabeth explained it, exactly the same, but obviously all it's just the male version. Together and all the girls stay together. What about the criteria? Criteria. Criteria. Yeah. Um, criteria. The criteria for us. Well, it was it was the same really. It's it's based on you as a person, not like you as the public eye. So when people look at you, it's based on how you hold yourself, how you are as a person. That's why there is all this different round. So my year when I won, we had an intelligent round where it was a load of questions which got asked, which were just general knowledge questions as well. Um, and obviously you have the sports round, um, the style round, and then the charity round as well, which is amazing. Charity is a huge part of the Miss England organisation as well. The designated charity is Beauty for the Purpose, which is a Miss World one, so we can go on to raise as much money as we can possibly for that charity and I raised personally under £2,000 for Beauty with a Purpose and I did this from winning in, um, going through the semi-finals in June, I apologise, and then winning in July to go into the Miss World. Oh, I've already complete, um, competed in the semi-finals, yeah, that was in Kellum in, in, um, in England. But we, uh, we had to do so many different things in regards to beauty with a purpose. You know, you can do the basic things like cake sales, but we can do car washes, do fashion shows, really think outside the box. And the best thing is that it's just for, such for a good cause. It's for disadvantaged children and disabled children in and around the whole world. So you're not just focusing just on one place. You're actually venturing out and trying to help the world as you are holding an ambassador's role. And I think that's a beautiful thing to um, highlight at the moment. Sorry, could you repeat that? When you were little girl to be missing them, or you were just to them watching on TV to be like I can't say I did. Um, I was fortunately scouted around this time last year in Preston to do, um, to do Miss Preston, my regional heat. And from then I thought there's no chance that I can't pass up this opportunity to do this. Thinking about how many things that we can do with this role, even if I didn't win or I did win, it would, it would just express me more of a, of a person. It pushed me to do things that I never thought I could do. And I was already naturally a confident person, which I think Chris was as well but I'm now more confident than I could ever dream of. I could do this without you know, freaking out beforehand you know, and pushing me and growing me. And I'm only 20 years old. I feel like I can do so many more things than a normal 20-year-old can do. So this competition brings so much to everyone involved, whether you win or you lose. When you entered the competition, you were aware of your duty in that part. I mean, duty in that part, as in so many shows, so many things to do. Yeah. You were aware of that. I feel like 20 years you have a show there for it. 
Um, at first I was a little bit wobbly, um, given the fact I'd never done anything like this before. I hadn't competed as a younger age, I hadn't competed once before at all. But we get help from the other misses. I mean, Natasha, who handed over to me, was there for me for Miss World. We had Lucy, who was there when I won my Miss um, Preston title. We also have Team North as well, and Mark, my regional director as well, who helps us through as much as possible. You know, if you ever were struggling or you ever needed help in regards to your events or what to do or what to say, they're always there yeah. to help you. They help you grow. They wouldn't spoon feed you, which is what is the main thing here. Um, Hope Valley is the region I'm from. It's in the uh, middle of England, uh, near Derbyshire. Um, yeah, that's, um, that's my role. It's been a new title for me this year, and I'm hoping to compete in the Miss England finals this year. You have been training through the business, because we know uh, in the States, the Tobias are training since 62 years in Miss USA in um, this, is my, this is my fourth time entering Miss England. Uh, Miss England is the only pageant I've ever entered before, so I entered first when I was uh, 19 years old. Before then, very similar to Liz, I've never done anything like that before. Um, but I had a bit of a background in performing. I'd been on stage dancing and singing as a child. So as far as stage work was con concerned, I was more um, comfortable doing that. So I like to put it in the same kind of... Um, a genre, really. So I had a bit of background experience, but not in pageantry before Miss England. Do you like it? I absolutely I adore it. It's my fourth year. I've, I'm more than happy to keep going until I'm too old, really. So that's always been the plan. Is it Miss too Sorry? Is it Miss too old? Um, a miss, um, you say once you miss something, you stay the age bracket is 16 to 25, uh, to 20, 26, sorry, um, that's just how it seems to work. A lot of the ladies who uh, seem to compete seem to um, compete until they're 26 and then they're more than happy just to leave it at that really. So that seems to be the, a very appropriate age bracket. So it's a nice 10 year age bracket and you get lots of ages. And that, that same question for yep. you, before the uh, years time you are going to go to New Zealand, you should bring your husband in. <laughs> yeah. This title as Miss England holds so many memories for me. All of them are fantastic. It hold, I hold my life to Miss England. I'm set on a career path right now where I wouldn't be if I didn't say yes to the opportunity back this time last year. Um, I would always have fond memories of Miss England and I think to, no one can really take that away from you now. Being Miss England 2016, we'll always have Miss England 2020 or Miss England 2004 and 4, but that's always something that you have to do. You've made a legacy with your year and that's what I'm aiming to do with the last five months of my reign. Yeah, it was, it was completely life-changing for me. So when I was crowned Mr Liverpool, which is the regional heat I, I won first, I'd never ever done anything like this in my life, um, so it completely changed my pathway to where I went. Obviously, winning Mr. Liverpool got me my first ever modelling contract, and then obviously got me to the finals of Mr. England, and then obviously I went on to win Mr. England, and it's opened brand brand new do not doors for me. So obviously I've come over here, I've got to experience experience this wonderful island. I've met people in Sri Lanka who I speak to and do things over there now. So it's it's opened brand new doors for me and change the pathway completely which I want to go in and like Elizabeth said Miss, Miss and Mr England have done so much for me and changed me as a person. Mm -hmm. I, was, I, I was working in a, a shop and I just graduated in sports and now I, I don't do no sports, well I'm a personal trainer now but I don't do like sports development which was my uni because now I'm going down a pathway where I want to become a role model, I want to do a, a bit more modelling and do things in that category. Role model or role model is something and what things are happening, would that be a role model in modelling? Yeah, yeah, because obviously like, like I mentioned charity is a big aspect in the two competitions Miss and Mr England and when you do charity, you're a role model for them, them people and obviously the things you do, you're out there showing the country that you can make a change and we come from, well I come from a working class background so if someone like me can make a change in this world then everyone can make a change and that's, our, that's what I want to do. We can say but, but, but your message that Mr. Henry, some, a single person can become a person. Yeah, yeah, anyone can, can change their life if they put their mind to it and they, they want to achieve the goals, they, they definitely can do it.
coming from that uh, uh, minority in Do you think that they, uh, there's more uh, mix? I mean, I can actually show the world that in is a multicultural country. It is a multicultural country, and that's what we kind of pride ourselves on at the moment. Um, being the first black Miss England to partake in Miss World holds a huge title for me personally and for my family, and that's something that I do treasure and I'm very, very aware of. And I think it, needs, it doesn't need to be highlighted because then it shows that there's a bit of an issue. What needs to be done is it needs to be appreciated that it can, it can happen, and I know it will happen. And I think someone such as myself to stand here and, and be, like Chris has said, from a working class family and to be of, how you say, an ethnic minority being the first black Miss England to partake in Miss World, I am so blessed and so grateful to be here and it shows how the world is growing in diversity in England especially. Um, and I think it's, it's just developing now um, as much as it can possibly be and I'm so proud to be one of the ones to kind of start this movement and to carry it on. And I will carry on as soon as I hand my reign over for the next 10, 15, 30 years. I'll definitely be trying to persuade this a little bit more. Yes, sure. At the moment, there's an increase in race crime. Mm -hmm. How do you see that as, as a signal? How do you get around that, that issue? How do I tackle race crime? Um, I'd, you'd have to look at the background of it. You can't just kind of singul singular, uh, singularly look at all the crime and distinguish that it's all due to blacks. Asians or X, Y, and Z. Uh, what can be done is you need to integrate people and find unity between everyone, find a middle ground so people can break down these stereotypes, break down these barriers that people have. Um, what, for example, you could see certain races to do certain things. Um, but what it needs to be done, you need to bring people who are in the majority at the moment, bring them together and break down those stereotypes from the top and then it will follow down a little bit like a pyramid. It's a long, a long haul. I can't say that I can do it in the next five months of my reign, but what I can do is I can help people who I do have a program at the moment to start doing that. I can start putting it through into my social media platforms, into any press interviews that I do in the future and see how that comes out of it. But it still will be a factor in my reign. Thank you. Okay. Miss Beach. Okay, so I am the current Miss Beach Beauty and I'm also the current Miss North West. I have been taking taking part in Miss England for the past six years now. So it has sort of become part of my life. It's something which I really enjoy. Um, I was given this title in July last year at the Miss England Finals. Um, this title is a beach beauty round where all the Miss England contestants are invited to send in a picture of them in a bikini. They then get um, shortened down to finalists on the top 14. Um, those top 14 were invited to Southport for a photo shoot wearing the Infidel swimwear brand. Um, and it's all about a positive, a positive view on body image and being happy and healthy in the with the body that you're in. It's not about parading around the bikini who can be the thinnest. You know, it's about being healthy and happy. And I, I think it was a, it was quite a shock that I won that round because, you know, all the girls in the competition, you know a bit of beauty in their own right but I, I'm really happy that I won it because I do think that I represent a, a, a confident healthy person you know, I'm, I'm not the healthiest I'm not the fittest but I think that's good because I hope that people can represent, I uh, hope that people can look at me and think you know, that if, sh if she can do that then so can I and be confident in the skin they're in um, and we would like to thank the Beachwear brand for supporting us in the Miss England final. So, uh, Suzanne, you're a woman of the determination. I well, you want something? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's Lucy. That is Lucy. Have you doing this for six years? Um, I th well, I, I've been in the Miss England... This year was my third time in the Miss England final. Um, I wouldn't say that sort of I'm determined to win Miss England but it's more part of 
it's part of my life now. I'm part of a, a brand new family, and I have met so many friends from the Miss England experience. And you know, if it wasn't for um, the Marisha brand in Fidel and Miss England, then I wouldn't have had the chance to ex- experience Marisha either. So it is, I think it is something that will be a part of my life for a very long time. Um, and of course, I will continue to do all I can for Miss England. What is your best team in the football in the what? Football, football, football. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh good God, I have to play well, don't I? Um, I'd have Matt to play it safe here. I'm going to go for Arsenal. Yeah, I heard a yeah and I heard a no. I heard a yes and a no. Yes. To play me? Uh, Jane, oh, well, um, I'd want, I'd want Halle Berry to play me. Yeah. Halle Berry to play me. Yeah. A Bond girl. Yeah. <laughs> if I could, yeah. If the offer was there, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Oh, yeah. 007, I'd be Bond instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to stay in charity. Um, my designated project for Miss World was a children's hospital called Darien House. Um, long story short, I lost my sister when I was five years old. And no problem. Darien House took care of my sister for the last three weeks of her life. Um, they followed me for the last 15 years through school, through her anniversary, which is a given in about four days, um, through my family's grief at the time. It was a very hard time for quite a lot of years. And I owe my life to them. They were, they were there to kind of help me through the grief, help my family through the grief, given the fact I was only a five-year-old girl. That's hard to break it to someone when I thought my sister was on holiday. I didn't understand the concept of death. You can't ask your parents who just lost the eldest daughter to explain to the youngest one what death is. Darien House holds such a place in my heart. They do this day in, day out, and their, their organisation isn't paid for by government, so they work on fundraising from local people. When I won my regional titles, Miss Preston, that was my oath to raise as much money as possible, and they've helped me through so much. And when I won Miss England, that oath still stuck to the same and they've granted me with the fundraising ambassador's role so I'll be keeping that up for many many years to come we have a project that's opening up very soon we've got the building work just before I came here so I need to go down and make sure that I'm showing my face again Um, in regards to careers I do love the idea of modelling I also took a gap year at university I'm studying psychology and early childhood and I need to go back and finish my third year that's a personal goal of myself I just want to be able to say that I have worked hard and I've got myself a degree So after that, possibly I'd like to do TV presenting. I'd love to do that, especially with children. So I need to see how I can... Yeah. Yeah, guys. Yeah, I've kind of got a path in regards to how I want to go. Whether that works or not, I mean, last year I didn't plan to win Miss England. So I might have to figure out where it goes in the next few years. This gives me such, yeah, such a platform. Yeah, you, you have that, that platform, platform, and obviously you get a lot of people knowing who you are. Um, it's just about where you want to go in life, to, yeah. to be fair. Um, which, which road you take, and obviously if that, that's the road you want to take, it, it, it's possible. It's possible for anyone. It's just obviously being Mr. England, Miss England, Miss Beauty and all the other misses, you get a platform to go off and obviously yeah. that's where then you take your role where you want to go.